Hi, my name is Elliot Yu. A little over two years ago, I co-founded Capitalist Times, an independent financial research firm that's quickly grown to serve tens of thousands of investors worldwide. I'm also host of Capitalist Times Radio, a finance and investment program broadcast on 880 AM, The Biz, in the Miami area. You may have heard of me or my firm because of some shocking and controversial investment calls we've made in recent years. Calls that have helped investors avoid devastating investment mistakes in some of the most popular stocks traded in the U.S. And to recognize some truly powerful yet overlooked investment opportunities that have generated serious cash and reliable income. That's why, before I go any further, I must warn you. In just a moment, I'm going to share with you some scary facts about several popular stocks, dangerous stocks you may hold in your portfolio that are heavily touted by investment pundits. Watch this short video through to the end, and I'm going to walk you through three warning signs that are pointing to a shocking change on Wall Street within the next few weeks. In just a moment, I'll also explain three simple steps you can take to protect your wealth and profit from the massive shifts that are just starting to royal global markets. If any of this bothers you, you may want to click away right now. You see, over the past 18 months, I've made some bold predictions on many of the web's most popular financial sites, on television, at financial conferences, and on my weekly radio show, Capitalist Times Radio. Some laughed when we advised selling Tesla Motors, the popular manufacturer of the Model S all-electric car. Last August, at an investment conference in San Francisco, I made Tesla one of my top stocks to avoid, warning attendees the stock could plummet by 40% to 60% within 12 months. Many listened politely as I presented my research. Some got angry, but few were willing to accept my conclusions. Just a week later, on September 1st, one prominent Wall Street analyst slapped a buy target on Tesla's stock, targeting 50% upside within 12 months. But as I write this letter, Tesla has plummeted 30%, and I'm looking for the stock to touch $100 per share by the middle of this year, half the current price. You see, despite the recent sell-off, Tesla still trades at 108 times its estimated 2015 earnings, and more than four times 2015 revenues. To support that valuation, Tesla will need to sell around a half million cars a year by 2020. But in 2014, they produced just 35,000 cars or so. That's pretty incredible, right? Warning, a recent report claims that Tesla sold only 120 cars in China in January of this year. Consider that Chinese sales are critical to Tesla's inflated valuation, and 120 cars is far, far short of the company's internal sales goals. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has said he expected Chinese sales of the Model S to rival those in the U.S. this year. Weak sales in China have shocked Tesla's management team. We believe Tesla's market outside the U.S. is only a tiny fraction of what management had expected. When investors realize that, the stock will plummet back to earth. Look, eventually we expect Tesla to fall 80% from current levels. Sell Tesla today before it's too late. Yet while Tesla will struggle to meet inflated expectations for electric cars, global consumers do want more fuel-efficient cars. And government fuel efficiency standards in the U.S. and many other countries mandate a steady increase in average fuel efficiency for cars over the next decade. Well, my firm has done a ton of research on this issue, and we have found that while the crowd chases Tesla, there are a handful of companies secretly profiting from the drive for greater fuel efficiency. As an alternative to Tesla, we recommended Century Aluminum, a small aluminum smelter. You see, the world's largest automakers are introducing a new generation of light, fuel-efficient aluminum-intensive vehicles that are powering demand for the metal. While Tesla's shares languished, Centuries have nearly doubled since our initial recommendation less than a year ago. And no one believed me over a year ago when I said it was time to take profits in deepwater contract driller sea drill due to deteriorating demand and excess rig supply in the deepwater drilling market. Some sneered just a few short weeks ago 
when I warned Cedril's dividend wasn't sustainable over the long run and the stock could have in value. But on the day before Thanksgiving, Cedril discontinued its dividend, losing 23% in a single day. The stock has plummeted 70% since I recommended taking profits more than a year ago. And my colleague Roger Conrad bucked conventional wisdom and advised our readers to book a 52.8% gain in high-yield telecom Windstream Communications on August 4, 2014. Many of our peers in the financial newsletter world dismissed Roger's call and advised loading up on the stock to take advantage of its sky-high yield. But again, our research proved correct, and the stock has tumbled nearly 30% since early August when Roger issued his warning to sell right away. But I didn't write this letter to boast or brag. I reference our record of successful calls over the past few years because of a dangerous shift currently underway on Wall Street. You see, devastating downside in popular stocks like Tesla, Windstream, and Seadrill is just the tip of the iceberg. The opening act of a looming crisis on Wall Street. Believe me, I'm not trying to scare you, and I don't take these predictions lightly. As I'll explain in a moment, we've seen the exact same conditions in the past, and history is just repeating itself. Challenge every single one of my facts, and you'll find that I'm right about each allegation I make. And then you can decide for yourself. Of course, the most important part of this looming crisis isn't what's happening, but what you can do to protect yourself and your hard-earned investment dollars. I urge you to watch this video through to the end, and I'll explain three surprisingly simple steps you can take to avoid the worst of the crisis and take advantage of some unique opportunities for profit. I guarantee you won't be wasting your time, but I'm getting ahead of myself just a bit. Let me take a step back and show you the three warning signs I'm watching that have me so concerned. Warning sign number one, this bull market is aging rapidly. Listen, the market hasn't seen a 20% pullback since 2011, nearly four years ago. That means for about 175 consecutive weeks, the U.S. stock market has been a one-way street higher. Since 1960, the S&P 500 has endured 12 bear markets, defined as corrections of more than 20%. On average, these corrections have been spaced about 172 weeks apart. That means the bull market since 2011 is already a little longer than average. Listen, I know what you must be thinking. That's not so bad. But bear with me. Only three of the 12 bull markets since 1960 have lasted more than 200 weeks from trough to peak. That means unless you think the U.S. is set to enjoy another record-setting run, such as the 1990s, the S&P 500 is highly likely to enter a new bear market before the end of 2015. Using historic probabilities alone, there's a 75% chance this market will be in the midst of a significant correction before the end of September. So let me ask you, Will you act now to prepare yourself for the coming bear market storms? I hope so, and that's why I've prepared this letter. Warning sign number two, investors are too complacent. Despite the growing risk of a bear market, most pundits and investors simply aren't worried. Check out my chart of the VIX. The S&P Volatility Index, or VIX, is often called the fear gauge on Wall Street. When the VIX is high, investors are pricing in a lot of volatility for U.S. stocks. High readings on the VIX, usually well above 30, typically mark important bottoms for the S&P. You can see that big jumps in the VIX marked important lows for the market in 2009, 2011, and 2012 on my chart. But over the past 12 months, the average weekly reading on the VIX is just under 14. Investors aren't worried about a spike in volatility in the S&P this year. Do you know the last time investors were this complacent about market volatility? If you said August 2007, you're absolutely correct. And here's what's really shocking. In the two years after August 2007, the S&P 500 plummeted as much as 57%. You see, August 2007 was the beginning of the worst credit crunch and economic downturn since the Great Depression of the 1930s. You may think things are not that bad right now. And at least for now, you're right. After all, the U.S. government tells us our economy is growing at a healthy 3% pace. 
The U.S. unemployment rate stands at 5.6 percent, down from 7 percent little more than a year ago. But there are already signs of a coming explosion of volatility that are eerily similar to 2007. Just consider this. On January 15th of this year, the euro lost 20 percent of its value against the Swiss franc in a single trading day. And since last July, crude oil prices have plummeted 60 percent to below $50 per barrel, the lowest level since the Great Recession of 2007 to 2009. General elections in Greece swept a new party into power called, in English, the Coalition of the Radical Left. Greece's new government is demanding major revisions to the terms of the nation's bailout plan with the EU, potentially threatening a default and an exit from the euro. While the market looks placid on the surface, there's an explosion of volatility just underneath. And that brings me to this. Warning sign number three, the market is losing its leaders. Look, I know you must be thinking that the market looks pretty strong right now. Over the past 12 months, the S&P 500 has logged a series of new all-time highs, most recently at the end of December. And let me be absolutely clear. The S&P 500 will probably hit yet new highs in the first half of 2015. Yet, take a look at my next chart. This chart shows the number of stocks trading on the NYSE that are hitting new 52-week highs. In June of last year, as the S&P 500 rallied, nearly 400 NYSE stocks hit fresh 52-week highs. After a short but painful correction in early October, the market rallied to new highs yet again in November. Yet this time, only 326 NYSE stocks hit new highs. Guess what happened in late December? Yep. The cycle repeated itself. In late December, the list of NYSE stocks making new highs shrunk to less than 300. Pay attention. While the market keeps rising, fewer and fewer stocks are powering those gains. The market's leadership groups are falling like dominoes. After years of outperformance, smaller stocks in the Russell 2000 dramatically underperformed the S&P 500 last year. And after leading the market higher in the first half of the year, the S&P 500 Energy Index tumbled close to 30% in the last six months of 2014. We're tracking the weakness sector by sector and company by company. It's only a matter of weeks before the list of leaders gets too thin to support the S&P 500. Listen, we saw the same pattern of declining new highs in the market between April and September of 2007, and also back in 2000 and 2001. On both those occasions, this warning signal preceded a major downturn for the broader market within six months. Incredible, isn't it? Look, I know many of my peers are in serious denial about the potential for the stock market to enter a bear market over the next few months. They're still advising investors to aggressively buy the dip in groups like energy and small caps. They're hoping this is just another temporary dip, such as we thought saw in 2011, 2012, and at the end of last year. However, hope is not an investment strategy. Do you think I'm fear-mongering? Just remember, no one expected shares of Seadrill to fall more than 70% from their highs, or momentum favorite Tesla to give up 30% of its value in just a few months. Many pundits laughed at us just a few weeks ago when we predicted high-yield upstream MLP, Lynn Energy, would need to cut its payout by more than 50% just to survive this year. Yet Lynn slashed its payouts by 57% on the first trading day of 2015. Let me ask you a question. Will you act now to protect your portfolio? I hope so. And that's why I wrote this letter. So what can you do? Well, I've done a lot of research on this, and I've found that there are a surprising number of simple things you can do to not only protect what you've currently got, but also potentially make quite a bit as the broader market stumbles in 2015. Bear markets are full of risks for unprepared investors. However, if you understand the forces at work, I promise you'll find more opportunity for profit than in any other time over the past five years. Here are three simple steps I'm recommending. Profit step number one, get some income. Listen, a year ago, conventional wisdom on Wall Street was that the Treasury bond market would be crushed as the Fed ended quantitative easing and began to contemplate hiking interest rates. Most pundits said yields would soar and advised selling all, quote-unquote, interest rate-sensitive stocks, 
including high-income groups like utilities, right away. Look, for more than a quarter century, my colleague and co-founder, Roger Conrad, has been one of America's top-ranked income analysts. Roger told our readers fear in the bond market was way overdone, and interest rates were unlikely to rise as fast as many pundits expected. Over dinner, he shared with me the results of an exhaustive research project that took months and hundreds of thousands of dollars to prepare. His research revealed one shocking fact. Solid utility stocks have often performed very well in rising interest rate environments, outperforming the broader market. You see, interest rate sensitivity is a dangerous myth, or at least the link between interest rates and income stocks only applies over extremely short holding periods. Well, once again, the conventional wisdom was dead wrong and our research proved correct. Utility stocks were the top performing sector in the S&P 500 last year, soaring 29%, more than double the gain in the S&P 500. Income stocks are not just a play on interest rates, and they're not hostage to the next move by the Federal Reserve. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever stayed awake at night thinking about the security of your portfolio and the safety of your dividends? Well, through bull markets, bear markets, panics and manias, Roger Conrad has consistently produced solid, sleep-easy returns for his subscribers. I'm talking about yields many times what U.S. Treasuries offer and far lower volatility than the broader market, even in weak markets such as we expect later this year. Roger has identified a handful of companies offering yields of 5%, 6%, or even 8% and higher that can sustain their payouts even if the broader market falls by 30% or more. I don't have time in this short video to give you all the details of Roger Conrad's top income recommendations. However, Roger has assembled his three top income picks in a hot-off-the-press premium report called Dividends Forever by these high, sustainable yields and I'll gladly give you access to a copy with absolutely no risk or obligation. And I'll show you how to get this valuable report risk-free in just a second. Look, our calls and recommendations haven't always been popular on Wall Street or in the mainstream media. We've even received hate mail about some of our calls over the years. While the critics couldn't refute our predictions, they simply weren't ready to accept the enormity of our conclusions either. But we're fine with that. In fact, the secret to our success has been our willingness to go against the grain. And that brings me to my next wealth building profit opportunity. Profit step number two, don't follow the lemmings, think outside the box. You see, conventional wisdom and chasing the crowd's latest opinions and investment fads can cost you big time. Multimillionaires don't build and keep their wealth by simply riding through down markets. Rather, they shift in and out of asset classes and market sectors when the timing is right. While the crowd chases last year's winners, the wealthy and successful investor knows how to look ahead and take advantage of emerging opportunities. So let me give you an example. Popular online broker TD Ameritrade recently released a report on the activity of that firm's 6 million individual investor clients. The report showed that these individual investors were buying energy stocks hand over fist at the end of 2014. The broker's managing director of trading, Nicole Sherrod, noted, individual investors continue to buy on the price dips in energy and in particular oil. Humans are hardwired to see falling prices as a bargain and the temptation to buy the dip is powerful and difficult to resist. Listen, investors who bought tech stocks in December 2000 probably thought they were getting a great deal with the NASDAQ composite already down 55% from its March 2000 highs. Yet the tech wreck was just getting started. The dip buyers watched in amazement as the NASDAQ plummeted another 60% before finally bottoming in October 2002. Do you know how long it took those dip buyers to just break even? Well, let me tell you. An investor who bought the NASDAQ composite at the end of December 2000 finally recouped all their losses in February 2007. Yep, it took six years just to break even on that investment. That's pretty incredible, right? And how about investors who bought financials in March 2008 after the KBW banking index was already 40% off its 2007 highs? 
Many bought the banks and financial groups like mortgage real estate investment trusts for their attractive dividends. Those investors watched the banks plummet another 76% before finally hitting a low in early 2009. Meanwhile, most financials, at least the names that avoided bankruptcy, slashed or eliminated their dividends, wiping out a lucrative income stream for millions of American retirees. The dip buyers and financials are still losing money nearly seven years later. I can't stress this enough. Today's energy dip buyers are catching a falling knife and heading straight for financial disaster. But what if I told you that one stock we recommend as a play on falling oil prices has soared 60% since mid-October alone? Let's be honest. While the sector has performed well in recent years, energy stocks still account for less than 10% of the S&P 500. Many of the remaining 90% of stocks and sectors actually benefit from lower oil prices. However, a small handful of names are getting a game-changing boost from lower oil prices. The sort of tailwind that's already powered gains of 100% or more from some of our top recommendations. In just a moment, I'll explain how to get your hands on our brand new special report detailing one stock that's already making investors some serious cash from the recent collapse in oil prices, all absolutely risk-free. But first, let me tell you about a strange little niche of the healthcare business. Listen, biotechnology stocks are a hot investment touted endlessly by many newsletter writers and market pundits. However, did you know that the NYSE ARCA Biotech Index, the industry standard, trades at a shocking 83 times earnings? Let me put that valuation in perspective for you. On September 30th, 1999, the tech-heavy NASDAQ composite traded at 66 times earnings. Remember, at that time, many newsletter writers and pundits jumped on the technology bandwagon, and talked up the so-called new economy. Yet just two years later, the NASDAQ was down a whopping 45% from its closing price on that day, September 30th, 1999. And the NYSE ARCA Biotechnology Index is even more expensive today than the NASDAQ was in late 1999 on a price-to-earnings basis. That's pretty amazing, right? In short, Buying sectors trading at more than 80 times earnings is an express ticket to the poorhouse. Well, my firm has done a ton of research on the healthcare sector. We have found a handful of secret niches that offer far better value, lower volatility, and upside of 50 to 100% over the coming year. One weird little niche of the healthcare business has absolutely no exposure to Obamacare, Medicare reimbursement rates, or health insurance premiums. Our first recommendation on this group has already soared close to 80% since our original recommendation a little over a year ago. However, we just added a new recommendation with exposure to the same overlooked healthcare niche to our model portfolio. Trading at just 21 times earnings, we see upside of 60% or more for this stock over just the next 12 months alone. I'd like to give you the name of this stock, plus our top play on falling oil prices, also absolutely risk-free. We outline everything about three of our top recommendations in full detail in our new report called Elliot Yu and Roger Conrad's Top Picks for 2015. And I'll gladly give you access to a copy, again, absolutely risk-free. I'll show you how to get it in a second. But first, let me get to the third profit step I recommend you take right now. Profit step number three, avoid these wealth destroyers at all costs. What about preserving your wealth? I believe it's almost inevitable the S&P 500 will see a correction of at least 20 to 30% at some point in 2015. Many investors will get blindsided by this sudden change of trend. I'm not going to lie to you, history shows the crowd is usually very bullish on stocks near key market tops. That's not what I desire for you. You must avoid the stocks that are getting crushed in this bear market. I'm talking about companies like Seadrill and Tesla that could see additional downside of 50% or more in the next 12 months. In our third special report called Icarus Stocks, High Flyers Poised for a Fall, we'll unveil five popular stocks that are extremely dangerous investments. Two of these dangerous stocks are high-yield securities popular with safety-conscious income investors. You need to sell the five wealth-robbing names in this just-released special report right away. 
So how can you begin taking these three simple profit steps right away? Well, that's why I created this letter, and that's why I'd like to rush you our three hot-off-the-press research reports today. You can either let this looming bear market run over your portfolio, or you can take these simple steps and take charge of your family's fate. The best news is that you can take a look at all of our research and the latest recommendations from me, Roger Conrad, and our award-winning staff, 100% risk-free and with zero obligation. Simply tell me you'd like to take a trial subscription to my twice-monthly newsletter, Capitalist Times Premium, and I will immediately give you access to our three latest research reports. Premium report number one, dividends forever, buy these big, sustainable yields. Premium report number two, Elliot Yu and Roger Conrad's top stocks for 2015. And premium report number three, Icarus stocks, high flyers, poised for a fall. Twice each month, you'll also receive our detailed issues, including two model portfolios, one focused on income and one on growth recommendations. Please, just give our research and recommendations a look. If you don't believe it's worth every dime of the subscription price, cancel in the first 30 days to receive a full refund, no questions asked. But please don't miss out. In just a few days, we'll start selling Capitalist Times Premium for $149 a year. And frankly, we think it's a bargain at that price. However, right now, I'm inviting you to try all of our advice and research at a special discount rate of just $79 per year. Even better, I guarantee you that if you join us today, you will lock in that discounted price for the life of your subscription. That's right, this isn't just an introductory rate. If you act now, we'll never raise the price of your annual subscription. Why so cheap, you might ask? Well, our subscribers tend to stick with us for the long haul. And we receive letters almost every week from readers who have referred their sons, daughters, family members, and friends to subscribe to our service. I believe that once you see the quality of our publication, you'll want to renew your subscription year after year. What have you got to lose? Test our service for 30 days, read our three brand new research reports, and two issues of our service, then decide. If Capitalist Times Premium isn't for you, cancel in the first 30 days, keep your three free reports, and I'll refund your full subscription price, no questions asked. Here's to your wealth. To start your risk-free trial, please click the subscribe now button to the right of this video and join us today.